scientists are still divided on the causes of obesity. But in the mid-1990s, they made a spectacular breakthrough. At Rockefeller University in New York City, Dr. Jeff Friedman and his colleagues looked for the fat-causing gene in a mutant strain of mice. The obese, or OB mouse for short, weighs three times more than a normal mouse. After eight years of searching, Friedman sensed that they were close to a breakthrough. I set the experiment up on a, a Saturday, processed it through the night, and couldn't sleep very well that night. So Sunday morning at around 6, I came in and uh, developed the film. When I saw the film, it was immediately evident not only that this was the OB gene, but that the gene was likely to play an important role as a hormone, a new hormone, in regulating body weight. Friedman discovered a gene that regulates the relationship between the amount of fat in the body and the appetite. He named the new hormone leptin. Leptin changed obesity research forever. Here's how it works. Leptin is manufactured by the fat cells. It travels in the bloodstream to the brain. The brain reads the levels of leptin like a thermostat to learn about the amount of fat in the body. It adjusts the appetite and metabolism accordingly. Friedman and his team discovered that the OB mice are obese because the leptin-producing gene is defective. It is as if the mice never feel full. The next step was to try to fix this. They injected the mice with leptin. Amazingly, it worked. The mice lost weight. The results were splashed across the headlines. Leptin, it seemed, was the miraculous fat pill everybody wanted. If leptin had worked, it would have turned the dieting world on its head. Unfortunately, leptin failed as a fat drug. It turns out that most obese people actually have high levels of leptin. They are somehow insensitive to the hormone. The discovery of leptin established a biological basis for the control of body weight and catapulted scientists closer to finding a true fat-fighting drug. I'm very optimistic, and I think we will have, within the reasonably near future, 10 years, 15, 20 years, whatever it turns out to be, a set of drugs which are very specifically aimed at very specific molecules, chemicals within the brain, to treat very specific types of problems with the regulation of body weight.